Hey, how's it going guys? So we have glitched out of Iraq in theater mode, so let's get exploring. Now this is the first thing I went and did and it is very surprising. I'm so happy Treyarch put it back there. But underneath the fountain, underneath that bloody fountain, the MG42 returns, that's right. You've got the same pedestal there, we've got an MG42, but we've got an added, like we've got added stuff. We've got, you know, ripped off arms there. We've got like a pile of rubble and skeletons and skulls and rocks so i'm curious if like the whole thing like it'll rise up and it replaces that fountain i mean obviously it wouldn't be usable but because they added like the detail around the bottom there and they put the hands on there i mean it could just be like track you know putting it in because it was there in the original it was like an obvious nod just like in revelations but i don't know there's a part of me that thinks hmm, maybe this could rise up somehow how it happens, I don't know, or if it even does, but that leads me to the next thing. So, all the way out here, there never used to be this, but there's a fountain here. Now, this is what the original fountain looked like without that golden statue on it. It had that little cross, you know, it slightly bent over. Uh, and, you know, originally when you know Clipped for Rock, or even looked out here, there was no fountain. So, this may be a thing of like, oh, you know, we moved the original fountain out here and put that new one in there. Or maybe this is related to it somehow. I mean, you can go underneath it and there's nothing there, but I don't know. It, it's just pretty interesting with this whole fountain stuff. The next thing I want to show you guys is behind the power room, you know, we've got a faded power sign right here. This was here in the original. It wasn't faded though, it wasn't clear. So if you know clipped in the original Varukt, the World of War version, it's even in the Black Ops 1 version, you go back here, you'll see this floating warning sign here. Now, they've put this back here as well, and it makes me think, did they port Verrucked over and then kind of update it and left it here? Uh, or is it just another one of those purposeful things that they've left behind? Uh, you know, this time it is clear, it's transparent. It's not solid, so uh, it's just another curious thing that they've done. Before we go looking around inwards, we're gonna take a look outwards into the woods. I've always been curious like, oh, what's over here? What's back here? Um, obviously, you know, it, it gets less detailed the more you come out, but it's really interesting, you know, how far out they've planned it. And I mean, the sun up there is just like a perfect small circle. Uh, kind of in contrast, like, you know how big they make the moon and shit? Uh, there's no moon on this map, but you know, looking at that sun there, and they made it super small, um, so it's really interesting. But yeah, there's, you know, large amount of land, uh, obviously some 2D trees back here. Uh, and then, you know, we get into the little village over here, I guess. And I think, I'm pretty sure, I'm fairly certain that half these, some of these buildings are new. Um, I did know clip the original Varak in the Black Ops 1 version before this, and, you know, some of these buildings were here, but I feel like there's, you know, maybe... A, couple new ones I don't know which ones exactly I know this burning building was here not as updated of course but like you know that building right there that's kind of been an iconic one I've always noticed and you know even the chimney you know you go inside it and the chimney's solid and that was just like the original so it makes me think like oh they ported it over I mean it obviously looks a bit better you know with the windows and stuff but you know, you, you got a nice bridge, little bridge coming over this little creek area, you know, some more houses, obviously there's nothing inside of them, but like, ah, it's just so cool, very, very cool, and, you know, they've updated, like, you know, got a little path here, you're driving along, coming up to the uh, asylum, I'm guessing these might be like caretaker houses, part of the property. And I have no idea if this is here in the original, but they've got 935 on these gates here, which is absolutely amazing. I don't know if... I mean, you could see them from that window over there with a sniper, but it's such a detail they didn't have to add. It truly shows that, like, hey, 935 owned this place. And I mean, like, because it's based off a real-life location, uh, Wittenau Sanatorium. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. But, um... No, it truly shows that it's 935, and there's even a tank back here that's got 935's logo on it. Uh, it doesn't have the numbers, but it's got the little, you know, atom grabbing and all that. So yeah, it's very, very remarkable. We go upwards 
and looking out to the border there, there is not much to be honest. You know, you've got those little things in the distance. I don't know what that is over there. It kind of looks like the the tower from Kino, but that wouldn't make sense. Maybe uh, I have no idea. Like you're not meant to even see this kind of stuff, but it's really cool. Very very cool. Uh, and you know, we get a wide shot of Iraq. There's a lot of fires actually, which is very interesting. Um, but yeah, so over to this side, it's the same deal as the woods, you know, going down, we have the flat land, we've got burnt out trees, so a huge fire came through here, going under, you can see the, uh, the MG42 fountain over there in the distance, there's nothing else underneath it, not that I found, at least, but yeah, we're coming back up, and yeah, it's... Just interesting how they build the world around the map, pretty much. So now going along the edge of the actual building, you know, we're in this area, you've got the skeleton over there, which is really weird. He's just sitting in a wheelchair, he's got a hat on. Kind of looks like Shadow Man's hat. I don't know if that's a reference. Why are his eyes glowing? That's... that's different. They've purposely done that. I don't know if you're meant to even see his glowing eyes or not, so why is it like that? Now those glow those glowing eyes are weird, definitely. I would say there's something up with this, but I don't know what it could be, to be honest. It's very interesting though. Up above you can see a bit of the uh, scaffolding it is. I, I don't know what you'd call it, but like just the bit of the building itself. You can actually go through it. Um, and you know, th this is actually kind of solid. I guess semi-solid, but they've built inside of it. Which is really cool. Back on this side, you know, we have the entrance to the middle there, which we'll go there in a sec. Uh, going along the side here, you know, this is what it looks like. You can see a bit underneath, uh, you know, the map. It's a, you know, invisible wall there. Obviously, we've got this part over here, and it's actually solid ground. So it kind of made me think, oh, maybe it's playable out here. But you'd be able to walk right through this fountain, and you'd fall through the map. So obviously, you can't come out here. But as I said before, that fountain is interesting. Likewise, we go around, this is beneath the map, underneath the floorboards, which is interesting, actually. You know, that they kind of built so much of it. I didn't even think to kind of look under... Like, could you even see underneath here, I wonder? Uh, and then you've got the stairs over here, which the zombies walk up. This kind of weird stable house area. It's absolutely... Uh, it's very designed. Like, it's not... You can obviously tell it's put together, but... I mean, there's a lot of design going into it. Uh, which I like. I like that a lot, that they took care to it. And I think this was here in the original as well, not as designed, but, you know, the whole stable thing, which is really nice. So, you know, we down here, obviously, you can't really see this area, um, because this part isn't on the bottom level. Then we get along here, you know, this is where they spawn in, in these rooms here. They come out, and then this is the Speed Cola sawn off Shotgun Room. Down here, we do have the area that goes into the middle area, but we'll leave that for a second, just as we cross over here. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So this is what that this side looks like. So now we're going to go down through that into the middle. It's going to be really fun to see, because I'm pretty sure this was fully open. I'm pretty sure there were no doors here. But uh, yeah, now we're coming into the middle. And we've got this purple room over here, lit by purple light. There is nothing here. Uh, I'm guessing zombies just spawn in here and walk out. Or it's just for ambience. You know, there's not much in here. Yeah, so back here, this boarded up area. It's got like a little, you know, not bookcase, but it's got like shelving and stuff. And then, uh, that's obviously done because you can see all the way through to there. And yeah, this is the inside area. It's actually really interesting, you know taking a look at, at all the second floor and then the top floor above it, it's super interesting you know you, you got this part up here obviously there's nothing there but I think I said this on my very first playthrough you know and I said this in other no clipping ones but like putting like Monty or Shadow Man or something that's just out of the map you spot it and it creeps you out Although there is another thing I noticed uh, over here, we've got this random, you know, just window hovering here. You can't even see that. You're not meant to even see this at all. And it's right above 
the window and the door that's right in like the butcher's room, the kitchen area. You know, like over here, that's where you go out to speed cola and all that. But I'm just wondering why, why is that there? I'm, I guess I'm surprised that they did put the MG42 and so much detail underneath it. I mean, I know they did that in World at War. They didn't bring it back in Black Ops 1, if you know, clip that version of it. And it was referenced in Revelations, but I don't know, I, I, I just wasn't expecting it. I mean, we know about the blood fountain. Um, and I guess the way it is just makes me think that there's more to it when there probably isn't. But nonetheless, like, this is such a, a cool design. Very, very cool. Uh, and I can't wait to see, like, if anything is found with it. So that's Verruckt, guys. I'm probably going to do Narked next. Uh, and then after that, it'll be Shinonuma, most likely Origins, and then Shangri-La last. So yeah, that's the order I'm going to do them in next. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and yeah, hopefully there is more to that Fountain and MG42 shit. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Cheers.